Boom, what's up everybody? My name is Kim Scottwell and today I'm going to be showing you a quick overview and review of Topaz Gigapixel AI. And I'll be using this photo right here. And uh, we're going to essentially enlarge this photo uh, with just the help of a, a couple of button clicks. And we're going to compare the, this one to the after result. So if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave your comments down below. Let me know if you like to pass Gigapixel or if you have a different way uh, you like to enlarge your photos. This has saved my butt a whole bunch of times on older photos, which was taken with a cell phone, stuff like that, where I have to make them presentable or be able to print them out in a larger format. So... We'll just get straight to it. Cool, so here we have the Blue Angels. I took this during an air show here in New Orleans. And you can see the size of this is 1440 by 805. So it's 1.2 megapixels. It's not a big image at all. I have already opened up uh, to pass gigapixel this is the the GUI of it so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take this here image I'm gonna go here take it change over drop it in and you're gonna see this is how it look you have a split view this is the original one 144805 and this is when it's been scaled up by four at a time so now this resolution is uh, 5760 and 3220. You can even go up to 6x here if you wanted to. You can see the new resolution here. You can set your own, define your own values here. You can, if you want to scale it, or just take it on the width side or the height side. Uh, auto update the preview. You have face refinement on or off. If you can see faces, uh, recommend. Turning that on, image type, if it's a natural image or a man-made, a lot of composite. And then auto detect settings, I like to have on. And you can go up here and move around so you can see, uh, sort of zoom in on the, on the image so you can see what you're looking at here. And you can see it cleans up a whole lot of stuff. It, not everything turns out perfect, um, but I would take this over this. Um, any day here and you can change the view here from side by side to single and so on so I'm gonna keep it here at 6 all you need to do is hit the save button this here is you can uh, choose to save it from the source so if th this is a JPEG it's gonna save it as a JPEG if this was a raw D DNG TIFF whatever it's gonna save it as that the file name I'm gonna keep it as this and you can choose to save it at the source directory or a custom directory. And you can choose your color profile here. I'm just going to keep everything as is and hit save. There's going to come up a bar here and it's going to let you know uh, the progress in saving here. You can see it's pretty fast. It's not too bad. So once we're done, we're going to go back to, uh, to Digicam and it's done. So I'm just going to change back over here. Go back here and we're gonna hit right click refresh and we're gonna get an extra one double click see this is the original one and then we have the six time enlarged photo you can see it's it looks really good and you did that in like a matter of seconds or a minute tops if if i didn't have to explain anything and you can see here it's uh, 8640 by 4830, it's 41.7 megapixels. And then here's the original one with 1.2 uh, megapixels and 1440 by 805. And you can see that looks really good. You can even see Blue Angels written here. If we could zoom in here uh, more, I'm sure we could see more details as well. So let me know if you like this tutorial or not. If you would like to try Gigapixel by uh, to pass Studio, go to their website. I'll leave a link down below and you can download their demo and try it out for yourself. Uh, I think it's a great 
product. This is not a sponsored video. I got it for a review and I absolutely love it. They did a bang up job here on to pass uh, studio with uh, Gigapixel uh, AI. See you all next time.